McLennan's election certainly clears up a lot of questions about who is going to be in charge of the House this session. And her election to the speakership was one that made history. Congratulations. Representative Mark Rossi handing the speaker's gavel to Joanna McClinton, the first black woman to preside over the chamber. There has been great sacrifice for these types of opportunities to arrive, and I am wise enough to understand it's only on their shoulders that I'm standing here today. Rossi was speaker for less than two months, and most of that time he kept the chamber closed, but he did oversee the passage of bills dealing with statutory limits for child sex abuse lawsuits, a priority for Rossi who himself is a survivor of abuse. I was not elected by the people for this office, and I will not stand in the way of the woman who was. Rossi lost support of House Republicans, who backed him as a compromise speaker in January. GOP leader Brian Cutler said the House is in dire need of a reset, but he also congratulated McClinton, who will preside over a chamber where Democrats currently hold a slight majority of two members. Our caucus has always been prepared to do what is necessary to work uh, well, whoever was willing to do was, what's in the best interest of Pennsylvanians. Again, McClinton making history the first woman speaker of the Pennsylvania House. She and her colleagues will be busy, though, in the coming days. They still have to pass rules, and they have not voted on a single bill yet outside of special session. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8. A lot of work to do. All right, Tom, thanks for that. Now a little more about Representative McClinton. She is from Philadelphia. She is an attorney and was an assistant public defender. She was also a state Senate attorney, and she has served the 191st district, which is part of Philadelphia and Delaware counties since 2015.